I'm Jody Lee with DecoPack. In this segment, I'd like to show you how to assemble our licensed numeral cupcake cakes. Here I have a number one I'm assembling for you. We have a brochure with our licensed cupcake cakes, and they can show you a lot of the other fun number cakes you can create. What I'm doing here is I've assembled a mock-up of the shape I need. And once I get that in place, I will then pick up each cupcake as quickly as I can and just put a little dab of icing in a circular motion. For some reason, if you put just a blob in the middle, it seems to slide around, but there's some kind of uh, magnetic cupcake force, should we say, that if I do it like this, it just creates some kind of suction. Kind of like when you're icing a cake and you have the comb side and the flat side, there's some kind of adhesion that it does. So I'm just gonna quickly run through all these. And when I'm done attaching all the cupcakes, I will then go back and start moving them as close together as possible to create a tight, the tightest barrier I can without having to have too much icing falling or being placed in between the cupcakes. Because that would just be a lot of icing, it'd be really heavy and it's just wasteful to use that much icing. So I'm going to go back and just really work those cupcakes in there where I can best do that. And if there's any little extra icing outside the cupcake liner, just take a little spatula and get that out of the way. So I'm just as tight as I can. I think I got it pretty tight. I would like a large number one, so I could go tighter, but it would be a half of one by then. So I think I'm ready to ice the cupcake. So at this point, as you can see, I've, I've packed these in as tightly as I can, and I've started to fill in the areas where I'm going to have some possible icing fall through the cupcakes. I'm just going to fill it in so I can keep all the icing on top and keep my design intact. Literally, when I do a cupcake cake that is just smoothed over, I want to reference that it looks like a cupcake, so I will just do an outer cupcake wall with my icing bag. And then after I get the outer wall, I'll just go in and fill in and it'll appear that I iced every cupcake individually, but I didn't. Just, there you go. And once again, very important to have refreshed icing at all times, as much as you can possibly remember. Keeps the air, minim, minimizes air bubbles and extra smoothing. And then just a quick fill in. and then proceed with your icy scraper and just smooth the remainder of your cupcake cake. And there you have your completed and ice numeral cake, ready to decorate. For the finishing touches, you can see the next segment for our numeral cupcake cake.